So today we're working on a Camry, Toyota Camry, one of my favorite cars. Um, what we're going to do is the rotors, and we just ordered them off of Amazon. Um, right here, you want to make sure that you have the jack on the, on the lip, but don't just rely on the jack. Also put a jack stand. Alright, so it says 19 millimeter because they used to have four 19 millimeters on there, so I wrote that on there. And if you look right here, look, we got some new shocks. Somebody put some new shocks. That was me. Anyways, so I should have filmed that. I'm gonna do next time I do the shocks on another one of these cameras, I'll show it. But uh yeah. So these are 21 millimeter in this case. Uh, somebody had put the 19 millimeter, which are harder to find. I forgot which ones are harder to find. Take them off. One, two. I like to protect my knees with this. This. Uh, this is just the old back of a seat. Uh, you know, it works well for that. Because I'm telling you right now, one of the things when you're a mechanic is your knees. Elbows and knees. You know, if you got an engine, or if you got a lift, you don't got to worry about that. So another way to support your back and and make sure that you're not uh, hurting your back. Get as close as you can to this as possible. Put your elbows here and get a grip. You can grip the sides. You can grip wherever you can grip. I'm just going to grip right here like this. And I'm not using my back. I'm using my arms off of my knees. Just set it down. You want to be close to it as possible. And then I'm just going to put it under the car in case any of these go. That'll still stop it. That's it. Get the nuts. Put them down here. Keep organized. And then, let's see. The brakes are new on these. The rotors are like really bad. I don't want to hear nobody's comments about how bad the rotors are. Because I know they're bad. So, there's quite a lip on them. So, what we're going to do is, um, to change the brakes, sorry, to change the brakes, we do this one and the one below, the same one like that. But we're not changing the brakes, we're changing the rotor. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take this one off right here, which is probably a 17 millimeter. So uh, we're going to take this one and there's another one down below. See if I can't. There it is. That one. And that one. Not that one. And that one. So yeah, that's just the caliper bracket. So uh, we don't have to remove the caliper itself. Really, I mean, the caliper is going to come off with the caliper bracket. Uh, we're just going to press in the the piston itself just to relieve a little bit of pressure off of here, and then uh, take those two two bolts off, and then. Uh, We'll get right back to you. I'll make sure. I'll probably just use a ratchet. I mean, a wrench is just. I can start with a rat wrench and then use a ratchety wrench, or I could just start with the ratchet and use a finish with the ratchet. Nice new struts. All right. So uh, let me get the tools I need to do that and remove that, and I'll let you know. It's probably 17 millimeter. So I'm just going to relieve a little bit of the pressure off of the piston. Um, 
just gonna stick a screwdriver in here. I don't have to relieve all of the pressure because I'm not changing the brakes. Usually, most of the time, you would change the brakes when you're doing this, but the brakes have been changed just a just about a week ago. Mommy, oh. and just shove it in here like that. Get a nice grab. Just gonna pull it. Just a little bit. All the fluid in here is nice and good. It's all fresh fluid. That's it. Relief pressure. If you have a caliper that doesn't do that easily, it's because it's stuck and it's been corroded. But in this case, like I said, it's got brand new... Uh, I put brand new fluid in these things, so uh, this is a customer customer of mine that I regularly take care of their vehicle. So uh, I know there's brand new brake fluid and everything like that. Obviously, it's the same vehicle that I did the struts on. So you saw I just relieved that. I'm gonna remove the two nuts bolts. I mean, and then I'm gonna get something a cable to hold it up out of the way. And this is going to pop right off, I know, because uh, it's not rusted on, because I think I've done these calipers before, I'm not sure. But uh, if, I, if they don't come off, I have the screws, which is 8x125 or 8x1.5, I believe. And then you put them down here and you, you torque them down, and then it'll pop it right off. So, let's see. So if you're ever confused about whether you're taking it off or putting it on, Snap-on does a good job for you and they tell you on and off. So we know we're taking it off, so we're going to put it off. <laughs> and really when you're tired and everything, it, it helps out because you're tired and you're thinking about other things or you're thinking about, you know, 10 other things. But I'm just going to show you. So it's obviously not this one. It's the one over here, but uh, I'll just show you. It's on here pretty tight. I want to get a nice snug. I'm going to brace myself on the car. There you go. Actually, I'm in the way of the bolts in my way, so what I'm going to do is just cock this sideways. That's it. You can use a wrench if you have the smaller Craftsman wrenches. Since you don't have a lot of leverage on the smaller Craftsman wrenches, you know, they're just average everyday Craftsman wrenches. Double wrench them, and uh, I'm sure you guys know how to double wrench them. You just put uh, you put the round part of the wrench on this end, and then you get another wrench that's usually a little bit bigger. Wrap it on this end. That way you've got the double load. But I would have no problem removing that with just some Craftsman wrenches or some Harbor Freight wrenches or any wrenches. In that matter, you don't need professional tools or anything to do it. You just got to know what's off and what's on. And you just got to be able to double wrench it. But when it comes to something like that, which is really hard, um, I would definitely double wrench it. Where you put, the, you put the round end on the bolt and then you double wrench it where you put them together. You put the other, here's the um, open end on the combination wrench, and then you wrap the other round end of another, and then you, you double double wrench it. I mean, that's what I would do if I was just using the Grassman wrenches. All right. So these are 17 millimeters, like I said. They're quite difficult to get off. So uh, like I said, double wrench method. That one's right there. And the other one's right there. We are not taking these off to, to change the brake pads. That one and that one. 
we're not we're not taking those off. So I just got this hung up right here. Okay. Wrap it here, wrap it here. We just want to keep this from hanging because it's going to cause tension. It'll cause problems and and everything. So uh So now you're here and you're like, "Oh! Oh! Oh! It doesn't come off." Well, and the people were smart enough to put these, that, and that. And I was smart enough to have these. And these are 8 by 125. I believe they're 8 by 125. I hope so. Because on I, I tried them on the new ones, they're 8 by 125. These might be a little bit rusted. So... It's worth it to have the right tool for the job. It's a 10 millimeter just for this. I don't know what tool you're gonna have. But, uh, and I used it on the new rotors and they fit fine. I think it's eight by one, two, five. Somebody will know, watch, somebody will tell me. It's not eight by one two five. It's something there out. I don't know. I got a little drawer that says eight by one two five, and it's in there. So do I trust myself? Sometimes. So we could be pulling on this, whacking on it all day, and it, it doesn't really matter whacking on it because it's it's uh, you know, it's gonna go in the trash anyways. But you know, we're gonna be wasting our time, and look how easy this is. I mean, look two fingers you know what I mean so you, see you hear it pop loose oh 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 there you go so it, it just makes real easy work of it and you know you can buy eight by one two five bolts from the store for you know ten cents each so what it's sticking on really is just the rust you see the rust see that it pushes off of the back right there and what we'll do here is we'll just uh we'll just clean this off a little bit and put some never seize anti seize or whatever just right here doesn't make real big deal if you have a real older car it's going to cause a lot of problems check the threads we'll clean it off and everything and uh what we're going to do is we're going to get the new rotors and we'll put those out of the way. And uh, I got a new router. First of all, let's make sure they work. That's one reason that it's not it's good not to be banging on that old rotor. So you notice this new rotor just you know. We'll just compare the two. Now, one thing about this old rotor is it has a coating on it you notice it's not rusted and it's, I mean you leave this out if you leave metal that's been finely ground like this within two hours even in just heated you know area it's gonna start rusting so they they put a coating on this and uh, I'm just gonna wipe this down I'm just gonna wipe this down with brake cleaner You can see the. Yeah, it's hard to tell the difference in thickness, but you can see the lip on this one. You can see the lip. That's a pretty good lip on that. So, it's definitely time to change them. So, I'm just going to put the Never Seize right here. Right here, right here, right here. I'm gonna put this rotor right back. And there is no screw like on a Honda where there's a screw that you have to take off. There is no screw. It doesn't go anywhere. I'll just put it in the same spot though. You can see I hit it there, I hit it there. So I'll just put it in the same spot like that. After cleaning off the coating, I'm gonna put this back. And that's it. It's real simple. We just used a 14 millimeter, uh, 21 millimeter to take off the wheels, 
and uh, real simple make sure you clean off this and to make it easier get some 8x125 bolts you don't really need two of them helps when you have two of them though they fit right in here if you're at the parts store when you're ordering your new caliper just find some bolts that fit in there and in this case it's 8x125 so while you're at the parts store when you're getting your 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 new caliper am I saying calipers I mean rotors when you're getting your new rotors find the correct uh, bolts that go in there 8x125 if not hit it with a hammer and that's about it that's all there is to do this job thanks for watching comment rate subscribe